going on everybody here and welcome back to some more slime rancher 2 we are on a kick and oh my gosh does it feel good to be playing some more some slime rancher 2 it just feels so good so uh, we're back for doing the things the last episode if you missed it we went over to the ember valley where we found some bounty slimes we found some crystal slimes we found some pomegranate fruit and um yeah more exploration more things to do we got to get some upgrades we got some upgrades in the last episode i recommend checking it out if you have missed it uh but today we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out this area right in here because that looks like it might have some new things for us to check out. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we're going to try to make some money and, uh, yeah, just get some things going. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Again, if you uh, want to check out the game for yourself, links down below. Um, we have links down there to Steam and Epic Games. If you use Epic Games, please use code Z1Gaming at, check Z1 Gaming at checkout. does help out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, all right. So, Rock, let's see. Let's start with feeding you guys. And then let's read this ringtail. Because we found the ringtail but it was like calcified um where there's a crime there's a ringtail they don't have a favorite so they'll eat anything so that means that we're gonna have to mix it with something else that has a favorite if we want to maximize our uh, um plorts ringtail slimes are nothing but trouble uh theft under cover of darkness is the favorite hobby and they delight in getting away with as much as possible before the sun rises the reason for this is ex this exclusively a moonlight crime spree is that ringtails have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone when exposed to sunlight and while we're not saying this is an ancient curse they're definitely the type of slime who would have an ancient curse if that was a thing once retail slime starts eating it will never stop just one ringtail slime is capable of wiping out an entire farm if given the time and they offer nothing in return because ringtail slime stops producing plorts when it would otherwise be full if you plan on ranching these ravenous rascals keep an eye out for mischievous expression to know when to avoid feeding them uh materials developed okay so i don't i'm, I'm not gonna read through any of the materials developed because i feel like those have a you know a thing to a, a chance to change but we'll go through all of them at one point so basically they need to be mixed with something that we can feed and get double plorts off of um let's go ahead and let's drop our lava dust and our buzz wax and then let's also see if we can't get a um, i would really like a like the dash boot upgrade or something because the stamina just seems so terribly low that i just we, we need something here what do we need for these boom plorts and new bucks and then we could get stamina too. Um, that's new bucks and cotton plorts. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go get some cotton plorts. Let's throw those in here. Let's go make some money. See if we can't get some stamina upgrades. Hello, little cotton buddies. Uh, you should have a bunch of cotton plorts in here for me. Yes, 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 indeed. I could also use a tank increase. Not sure if anything needs tabby or not. Um, and I think something needed boom as well. All right, let's go drop these off and then I'll reassess, see what we need to bring down. All right, so the power core is cotton and we need money. Boom plorts is dash boots and we need money. Jetpack's already upgraded. Tank booster allows your vac tanks to hold 30 units of whatever you can. Okay, so that is the tab report. We need money. Adds an extra purpose. Oh, see, that would be nice too. We don't have any silky sand yet, though. And all right, so let's try to go with um. Let's get our dash boots. Let's try to get our dash boots on a power core. And if we can, a tank booster. But we got to make some serious amounts of casholas for that. Oh, we got a new thing. We got somebody else to talk to. Hold on. Let's talk to the somebody else. Or somebody has something new to tell us. It's Moki. What do you got to tell us? Uh, those drones you've been finding all over the island. There's something weird about them. I got eyes in the skies. I'm going to use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion. But I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced. Like almost alien. So I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island. Just like you. But no, I don't think so. Because it looks a lot like the drones were used, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or, eat, or both. Oh, that's funny. Okay. 
Um, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell everything else that I can. All right, so we've definitely made uh, enough money for <laughs> for our upgrades here. I'm not even done yet. Um, I gotta make another trip, I think, to the Batty Crystals. Those Batty Crystals, they eat a lot and they eat fast. Um, I've been getting quite a few plorts out of them and they're worth quite a bit because I haven't really sold any yet. So like today's my first day of selling them. So like the prices are, are like you know pretty high. Um, but let's see, I've got, yeah, so I've got 46 crystal plorts in here. So I'm gonna have to make another trip for these because I don't have enough room. Um, four more baddie plorts. Unfortunately, no, you still cannot carry uh, more than one stack of something in your, uh, in your backpack. So I know a lot of people were like, oh, it'd be nice if you could have like, you know, if you wanted four stacks of crystal, crystal plorts or four or two stacks of crystal plorts if like one was empty, but that is still not the case. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell these and then we're going to buy some upgrades. All right, let's do it. Let's get some upgrades. I wonder if there's going to be a seven Z rewards on this too. Kind of curious. All right, so let's get the dash boots. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Let's get the stamina. Um, Augments your backpack with an almost a certainly safe microfusion generator that boosts energy to 150. I wonder how I get the next one. Okay, so we got that. And then tank booster, 30 units. Fantastic. We can't get that because I don't have the silky sand. Um, deep brine puddle port, angle port. We don't have that. And then we don't have... We, I haven't seen flutter yet. I haven't seen any flutters anywhere yet. So uh, that's something that we haven't done yet. And then also yellow home portal. Maybe at some point we'll get that. And then a refinery link. That'd be nice to have upstairs. Um, but upgrades wise, can we get, um, you know what? Let's go grab a, let's grab a heart upgrade. So that way we can get all of these upgraded, upgraded. See, it looks like we can upgrade this one two more times. And this is three more times. And then if I had silky sand, Okay, let's go grab a, yeah, we literally need one more pink plort. Let's go grab that. And then we'll throw those in there. We'll grab the health upgrade. Oh, we can already run so much further that it was a huge, we got the dash boots and the upgrade. So like, I feel like it's twice as far we can run now. <laughs> All right, there's our two pink plorts that we needed. We'll go ahead and throw these in there. We'll grab our health upgrade. And then we are off to go and check out a new area. Oh, so nice being able to run further. You know, actually, is there anywhere that we have to like purchase upgrades? So like we have this, right? But like, can, can we upgrade? Like, so like this is upgraded, but I can't upgrade it again. Must have to unlock something for that. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, did I get the upgrade? No, I didn't, I didn't even get it. There, we've done it, my gosh. All right. Let's go ahead and let's make our way over to that uh, ruin area. So we're looking for some new, um, we're looking, we are looking for some new plorts or new, new slimes, new food types. Oh, I need to do something with this ringtail slime because that ringtail slime is going to be taking up a spot this whole time. He turns to stone in the sunlight. You know what? I'm going to go put up another pen in the cave. I'll throw them in there and maybe we'll mix them with like a bat or something. Maybe we'll mix them with something that's already here e eating the same food. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So let me just go ahead. Uh, let's get a corral. Let's get high walls and an air net. Have fun. Oh, you're so cute. Fruit, veggies, and meat. Oh, he had these little, like wagged his tail and like got electrical looking thing. Oh, it's just him going through the, the force field here. Okay. All right, he'll be fine. We'll leave him there. Okay, so uh, let's see. We were kind of going down into this area right here is where we were looking. 
Well, that's weird, because we've already been into this area. Yeah, we've already been all through here. Oh, you know what? I must have been just looking down on this area. Okay, well, here, let's go. Let's pop over to this ruins area. <gasps> I wonder if there's any quantum slimes. Kind of missed the little quantum slimes. They're so cute. I wonder if there's any uh, special slimes up there. We're about to find out. Uh, pink slimes. Phosphor. Rock. Uh, we got some more rock, some more phosphor. Hey, little buddies. What's going on? What are you guys doing in here? Huh. So this is kind of just like a little ruin area. Nothing super crazy. I don't see anything. I don't think I don't see anything super hidden here. So there's something back over here. There's there's definitely like room for them to add like super secret secrets back here, you know? Like I feel like there's definitely could be something here. What's this? Oh, there's a robot here. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruin complex into a beautiful garden. I never know the original purpose of this place but i thought its creators might be happy knowing that far into the future someone was making sure it still had a purpose there's no time for that now but i'm going to at least plant some of my flight favorite flowers right here and hope that in time they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more maybe if i ever make it back home i can see it myself oh okay so some favorite flowers i wonder who we're talking like who who this is right now you know Oh, there's definitely a secret secret here somewhere, maybe. Anything? Nothing? One day. One day. Oh, there's a thing over there. See, one day there'll be... Ooh, there'll be super secret secrets over here. What the heck? What the heck? It pushed me off! What? But knocked out. You'll rest ever. I have no idea what happened. It pushed me. It was like pushing me the wrong way. I was like, okay, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't jump over it. Interesting. All right, well. <laughs> Darn it. That's a long ways back. Okay, fine. Fine then. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to feed these guys real quick and then we're I'm going to head back. So uh, we'll be back there right, right now. Look at that. Another lucky slime. There. There you go. I have another one. There you want. You want to eat again? Yay. Lucky slimes. There's hens all over the place. You gone now? Okay, he's gone. Okay, so we're not going to go back to the ruin area because I didn't really see anything there. Um, we're going to go this way this time. Because this is the way we needed to go last time, but we couldn't get anywhere because we needed the jetpack. Well, guess what? We've got a jetpack. Okay, so we were trying to get up here. Okay, well, that was easy. I don't even think I needed the jetpack for that. Let's grab these. Feels like now, every time I see like one of these resource nodes, like I have to grab it because we're gonna need it, you know. All right, uh, let's try to pop up there, maybe. Oh, oh, look at that! There's another one of those uh, super secret secret guys. That's funny. Uh, a dash pad allows you to briefly sprint with zero energy cost. What? That sounds amazing. Okay, so... This is the area in which we were trying to get over that way. That's right. Oh, there's another pod. Uh, Amber Cypress Cluster. I wonder if this is how we get the, um, the ability to... 
dash pads. I wonder if we could dash, jump, dash. I don't know. Um, oh, here's the thing. I completely lost my train of thought just now. Hmm. I don't know. We're heading this way, though. <laughs> I know that much for sure. I know we're heading over here. All right, we finally made it up here. Okay, what do we have? Beyond this ridge. Looks like a nice nice area, actually. Not, not too bad. Nothing crazy. Oh, we got a cave. All right. Big cave. Oh, are we going into the volcano? Can I suck up these? No. Uh... Oh, there's some odd onions. I'm going to grab an odd onion just in case. But I don't anticipate on actually. Oh, there's some water slimes, puddle slimes. I do need a puddle slime. No, I don't want the puddle port. I want the puddle slime. I kind of need puddle slimes, but like. Is this water that I can walk in? I think so. There's a giant crystal slime up there. Ooh, that's not water I can walk in. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no, no. That is not the good water. That is the bad water. How does one get up there? Oh, just jetpack on up. Okay. There's another puddle plort or puddle slime. I guess I'll grab the puddle slimes. These aren't really the slimes I was looking for, though. As handy and as useful as they are, I was looking for something to mix the, um... To mix the, uh... That ringtail slime with. Where are we? Oh, this is... Now I'm looking back on that area. Oh, there's a super secret cave right here, though. No, it's not. This is... Oh, this is just this way around. Okay. Oh, there's a map deal up there. Oh my gosh, now we gotta get up there. Hi, little buddy! Um, uh, what's the best way up there? I guess this way. No, I almost had it! <laughs> I was at it. All right, we made it. Rock crystal bat. Oh, there's a thing. I don't know what that thing is, but that, there's a thing right there. There's absolutely a thing over here for sure. Oh, oh big hole oh there's a tabby <gasps> I bet you the tabby is sitting on something we've got to go look oh you're sitting on a teleporter oh my gosh is that going to take us over there is that going to go this way no way there's no way there's that much available yet. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself, that I would prove myself to my parents that my choice was the right one, and they would forever forgive me for not continuing their legacy, but that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and I just couldn't face them, so I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said it goodbye. Um, okay, so what we need to do is we need to bring a bunch of meat to this tabby here. Um, because it looks like we have a portal going somewhere else. And you can bet that I want to check that out. Um, should we Should we go down? It looks like there's definitely super secret things down below us. Let's just go down. See what happens. 
Uh, what is this? Primordial oil. Okay, let's grab that. Ooh, I almost went too far. <laughs> oh, I almost went too far. I feel like there's definitely more down here, though. No? <gasps> Aha! Super secret, secret thing. Blue warp depot. Instead of two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Very nice. Um, let's go over here. Grab this thing, crack that open. Okay. Now we got to make our way back up. That's not going to be too bad. Up, up, and away. So we need to feed that tabby because it looks like we might actually have a new area to check out. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead. Let's go grab some hens. Grab as many hens as we can. And feed that bad boy. All right. So we're back home. Uh, well, we're getting close. And I have been gathering some hens along the way. So we have 23 regular hens right now, which eh, might be enough. I don't know. I think the I feel like the rates are different now um, in this game because I don't feel like the the pink Gordo took nearly as much food as I thought it would. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll throw this in there. Actually, you know what? Let's throw some hens in here, too. Uh, let's go ahead and do high walls. Yes. Spring grass attracts cattle bugs. Chickens love to eat. With their bellies full, chickens will grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. Elder collector. Um, do I want to spend the extra on all this stuff? Not really. Just want to get some chickens in here to start with, and then we also probably need. We probably need a pond somewhere. And actually, hold on. Let me look real quick. I wonder what the odds are. Okay, so this area is going to have natural water sources right there for puddle slimes. Um, I don't know if we can afford to get over there yet, though. We have some money, like... That's 18. That gives us the archway. But how much... Okay, so this one's going to be 18 as well. The gully. You know what? Let's buy the gully. And then let's uh, let's see if we can buy the the docks area. <gasps> oh, this is super cool. I hear a robot broken somewhere. Let's check that out. I, I need the, I need you chickens. I'm sorry. I need as many of you chickens as I can get. Oh, this is cool. I like this. We got all these ports. Okay, so down here. How much is this? Tell me it's not that expensive. Ah, it's 3,500. The tide pools. <gasps> oh, I want the tide pools though. Of course I want the tide pools. Like, why wouldn't I want the tide pools? All right, where's that robot? There's a robot right here somewhere. Yeah, there you are. Uh, I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at these colossal fossils. Ha, <laughs> wondering what in the world looked what it, this world looked like when they were alive it's a world of, if it's it's a world of slimes but who knows what it was before and if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course maybe we should accept the same of each other he's talking about the past sure resonates these days i wonder what profound thoughts i had to share back then huh okay so can't buy that area darn I want the tide pools though. I definitely want the tide pools. Uh, let's go ahead and let's feed these guys. Let's get everything taken care of here. All right, it is a new morning. We actually have 5,100 uh, uh, new bucks right now. So we could buy the tide pools. And I think I'm gonna buy the tide pools because I want to uh, I want to put my puddle slimes over there. Now they obviously don't consume anything other than water. Well, they didn't used to. They didn't used to. I'm curious if they do it now. I don't think they probably, they probably don't. Would you guys just turn around and eat? Thank you. All right. And then I'm also going to grab some chickens out of the chicken coop. But let's go ahead and let's like unlock those tide pools. They're kind of expensive. And I probably should do other things first. But I want to get this. Um, I want to get these puddle slums put away. And I I always, I typically like to use the, um, the naturally built ones. It seems, I mean, the last game there was a naturally built puddle area. Um, and then 
it looks like this area is going to have a naturally built puddle area too the tide pools i mean come on it sounds like there's going to be a natural area for for um slimes a coastal sanctuary for coral life forms and seaweed this expansion to the conservatory is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand oh yeah all right because there might be other slimes that are like a water-based slime that might need to come into an area like this so we've got these areas okay so here can i put you guys in here and like leave you will you not run away from me um we also have this little area right in here i'm gonna go put them up here though there you go stay there please stay there <laughs> don't go anywhere enjoy yourselves be puddly be slimy oh i hear a thing oh is that it i i hear i definitely hear a robot thing oh that's definitely it i used to be afraid of the water it felt like it was endless and would just swallow you up I was only ever willing to dip my feet in the shallows where I could see the bottom, see the extent of it. And now, what would you even call what I plunged into? Water so deep, so endless that I may never see the surface again. I'm feeling sorry for myself again. I should get back to work. Oh, very neat. Okay, we've got to go. Uh, we've got to go pop this Gordo and we got to see where it goes. All right, we are loaded up on hen types. We've got an elder, we've got two sea hens, we've got 20 regular hens. I think we should be good. We got a bunch of chickadees in here, so uh, we should be okay. Ah, oh, darn it, the roostro just turned into an elder roostro. Well, hopefully one of these turns into a roostro. <laughs> well, darn it. Okay. All right, we are gonna make our way all the way back. Oh my gosh, we've got a long ways. We gotta go all the way back to here. It's a long ways that's a long journey i'll see you when we get there all right we should be about there there you are oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm excited to see if this is even like gonna do anything or if like this is you know like is this the extent this is this is where we're ending this uh whole thing i don't know we'll find out let me go ahead and get rid of those guys of these guys and here we go this looks like a portal platform Are you kidding me? I didn't have enough chickens. No, <laughs> darn it. Oh, there's one, there's one down here. Hold on. I don't know how many chickens I need. I brought over 31 to, I brought 35 chickens over and that wasn't enough. Interesting. Maybe it's 40. Let's see if I can find some more chickens around here. All right, I think we're good. Um, I actually got four stony hens. So I'm thinking, cause stony hens I think are Tabby's favorites. So those four stony hens should, um, alone should do it. But just in case, you know, we got a couple extras. And I think there's actually an easier way to get up here. I think if we just go to right here and I think we, we can take this spot right here. And we're up. Okay, cool. All right, you. Wow. Are you kidding me? Well, then. <laughs> I thought that was going to be enough for sure. All right, I've got I've got nine more chickens. <laughs> come on. Oh, finally. Okay. All right. Come on. Be a teleporter. Oh my gosh, it's a teleporter. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm so excited though. We found another teleporter. <laughs> oh! All right. Let's go ahead and let's step through it. Where are we going? Where are we? Oh, we went all the way. Oh, this is the cave that. 
Okay, so in the starting area, there was this cave that had like a lip. We couldn't get up it because there was a, um, there was a, a it was a ledge. We had needed the jetpack to get up there. Okay, so this brought us back. It's right here. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I was, I, I was excited because I thought we were going somewhere new, but actually, can we go up here? Oh, uh, any super secret secrets up here? Yeah, I was uh, first. I was I was thinking we were going somewhere new. I saw that pod down there. Don't worry. I'm just kind of exploring around, and I want to get back to uh, the safety of our our house because I like our house. So that makes me think that maybe there's something over here. Over here, there's probably something here to get over here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. There's probably something here to get to here. So we will have to check that out in another episode but that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more we will be back with more slime rush too of course do not worry but uh if you guys were interested in checking it out for yourself links down below if you head over through epic games uh make sure you use code z1 gaming at checkout it does help out the channel and helps me out and i do appreciate it but um yeah you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you next time bye everybody